Um, so I heard one of, on one of your exchanges with someone else on, on a, another seminar. They had used this story about wanting to be with Santa Claus, and if they could have, if they could ask Santa for a gift, and you said, "Why are you using that example? You're like you've got Abraham and the universe, you know, universal wisdom right here. What do you want to, what do you want to ask from this Santa?" So I thought I wanted to ask you about. Um, I've been just recently learning about you, and I was really impressed when Esther was saying if she gets an impulse, she always acts on it, even if it doesn't make sense. And Not got, always, but she means to, depending upon the clarity of the impulse. And most recently, is it upper half of the scale impulse or lower half of the scale impulse? Right. And, and they've always come when I've been meditating or at the end of my meditation, usually. Anyway, so it's usually an upper half of the scale of impulse. Of course, yeah. yeah. So I'm loving that. So I got this impulse to text a friend because I usually touch, we usually connect and touch base and check in on each other every couple of months. And it came to me to just like, oh, you don't want to be the, to just go ahead and do that. So I'm like, okay, Esther says if she needs to get in the car and drive and she doesn't know where she's going, she just drives. And so I'm like, I'm going to just text my friend and say hi. And, and the, what was exciting about it was I knew I was receiving an impulse, even if I didn't understand where it was going. Pause there just for a moment. And that's such an important thing to know because your vortex has so many layers and no one could really define precisely what's in there. In other words, sometimes you have to follow the impulse and follow the impulse and follow the impulse and follow the impulse and, the impulse and then, oh, right. Yeah. So I just did it. And then sure, sure enough, um, when he, t I just said, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. And then he texted back and said, oh, I've been wanting to talk to you. Would you be interested in working with me on a new business I'm launching? And I'm fully, I have a Vortex job that pay, you know, that's corporate and it's all taken care of. But, um, and I said, at first I was thinking, it was just interesting to see how I was being led through the path of least resistance. Cause my first impulse when he texted and said, do you want to do a project? And I thought, oh, he's not going to want to pay me or it's just going to be a thing or whatever. But, but we went ahead and had a call and it, and it just kept going. And I'm so grateful that I, that again, my inner being said, don't, you might feel like it might is um, there was some resistance and oh this is probably just going to be someone asking for something free because I'm a I'm a designer. So he said I want to pay you and he said and I can either pay you by the hour or if you want to be like a small partner in my business then I'll pay you on every time I sell something I'll pay you and I just was so and it's calling on everything I've done in every in my whole career each piece of this me contributing to his launching his new business. So I was just so excited to see that I, seconds ago I didn't have this opportunity and suddenly there's this new source of potential income that's coming to me that I didn't know but I followed my impulse. And we want to emphasize something. You already did but we want to emphasize on top of your emphasis. Okay. The fact that you didn't know what the impulse was about. Had you known that he was going to offer you something to do. You may not have called. You may not have gone there because you're trending with either this person or with this kind of situation is they're going to ask a favor of me and they're not going to want to pay me. But since your inner being knows that is your belief mm -hmm. and your inner being also knew that wasn't the situation then your inner being didn't give you more insight about what it was about or you may not have made the call does that make sense to you when we say to you that your inner being knows where you stand in relationship to everything you want and is continuously calling you around the resistance pieces that you yes. have along your trail that's really a good example of that isn't it yes and i yeah. love knowing that yeah oh and Every time I learn something new, I love hearing Esther in my head saying, don't you love knowing that? And I'm like, yes, I love knowing that. I love, I love hearing that and I use that all the time. And knowing it and then it keeps showing itself to you. Everything that you know unequivocally, then you realize it over and over and over and over until you've got such a trend going that you can never be left out of anything like that. 
So, um, so the, with the Santa Claus thing, it was more about when you have the opportunity to, to be with Abraham and to chew on something, even if it's, it's not a problem, it's I'm excited about it and I expect it to just continue to grow and and because um, we're still in the launch, we haven't launched yet, but it was just, I was just so excited about something new that came into, came to me that I didn't even know was going to happen and, um, and it's because I've been meditating and so is there anything that where I am now, is there anything that I, you know, now that I have access to Abraham that you would want to tell me about yes. this job or about this new opportunity? Once you understand what you understand, then it can be extra satisfying to turn up the gas a little bit. And by that we mean now for you is a good time to do more scripting. In other words, more deliberately guiding things the way you want them to be. Now, this is the best conversation because think about the subtleties of what we're talking about here. Don't turn up the gas and don't try to figure it out before you can figure it out. That went really well. But then as it has been revealing itself, but as you realize what's being revealed, now you get to get your hands more deliberately in the clay and you get to add more of the details of things that right now this red hot minute would please you in the process. A very common question on the Abraham Now broadcast that people submit every week goes something like, am I really just supposed to sit around and wait? And the answer is only if you're resistant in nature, but when you're tuned in, tapped in, turned on and it's starting to unfold, isn't it way more fun to let your mind just wander in the direction of what you're wanting? Don't you like utilizing your ability to focus, your ability to reason? Here's another word. We've added a few words to chew on while we're together. Let's introduce or repeat the word logic. When something feels logical, there's a clicking into place and now you have your awareness of your inner being as part of the mix, your awareness of your emotional guidance system. You're really in tune with how you feel. Now you can let your mind peruse the details and feel the logic of things clicking into place. And that's what's going to make this person say to you, I knew you would be an extremely good partner team maker because that's the way you are. And sometimes when we are teaching people back too far away from that, sort of like whatever will be, will be sort of like I'll get into the allowing mode and I'll let the universe deliver it to me. But do you know any kid who was waiting for Santa to come, who didn't want to get the request in to Santa before he came, <laughs> the kids usually say, just let him bring me whatever. Nobody's that dumb. <laughs> I, I specifically, one thing I've been trying to um, navigate is specifically I'm an efforter and I realized you'd said that so your source, your inner being is the best manager and negotiator you could ever want because they're asking people to call this person and they're lining things up and so I, I really resisted the temptation to say, okay, we really didn't talk about um, now, what was the dollar amount again that I'm going to get every time something sells? Like we, and I thought, I kind of felt like that was probably efforting and I wanted, I kind of got more of the intuition to just let source manage for me and not try and um, effort and lock down something specifically. Well, if you feel uncomfortable talking to this person in an attitude of having an agreement, at least tell yourself what you want to get, what you expect to get. It's not an easy thing to put a dollar value on these inspired things. In other words, you don't want to just be paid for your action. You want to be paid also for your knowledge and also for your intuition and also for your alignment. There's a whole lot that goes in some years ago, Esther and Jerry went to a very good friend's art gallery, really a famous and very good artist. And Esther said, Doris, how long did it take you to paint that painting? And she said, 72 years. 
And that's what we mean. Everything that she has been trending is in that painting. And that's what your friend is wanting to collaborate with, not just some action. That sort of talks to you too, doesn't it? About what we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Enough? Yes. Really good. Thank you. Really good. Really good.